I believe that we can look upon this as a wake-up call because I think that um, in the last uh, 40 years, our lives have undergone a very significant change. Technology has made life comfortable and pleasurable, right? And it has taken many hardships out of life. I mean, when I was a kid, right, in the 1930s, life was not easy, right? But now life has become in so many ways so easy that we, are, we don't have the means for dealing with, with hardship, right? So uh, what uh, I would like people to know is, look, we have the reality, uh, but hardship is not fatal, right? Why is it a wake-up call? Because I think we have to start thinking in terms of who am I, uh, what is my, the purpose of my life, right? What do I hope to achieve in my 80 or 90 years on, on this world? Right? Uh, if, uh, you know, I, I sometimes say, I've attended many people in the last days of life. Never have I heard anybody say, my only regret is that I haven't spent more time in the office. Right? It doesn't happen, right? Because what happens is that when people look at their life retrospectively, they realize that they left out many of their values of a life. Well, why don't we become wiser right? when we're in a time where we can do something about it instead of when we're, when we're terminal? Right? So I think that the uh, fact that we have lived so much of a commercial life, industrialized, uh, and I'm not going to pitch religion because Unfortunately, there's been a lot of drawbacks in organized religion and people have lost faith in organized religion. But I wrote a book about spirituality where I said spirituality can stand independent of religion. Right? Spirituality means being the best human being that you can. Right? Meaning, thinking about uh, a purpose in life because animals can't do that, only human beings can do it. Thinking about how you can improve yourself and become a better person. Animals don't seek to improve themselves. Trying to help others, strangers, animals don't do that. Right? Being able to delay gratification. Being able to make moral decisions, what's right and what's wrong. Right? Animals can't do that. Animals are driven by their body. If, if the animal wants something, it has to go get it. And it can't think whether it's right or wrong. Right? So I pointed out there are so many things that are unique about the human being. And I take all of those 12 or 13 or 14 uniquenesses, put them together, and I says, this is the human spirit. And that is what makes us different than animals. Now, if you implement all of these things, then you are implementing the spirit and you are being spiritual. Right? And one can be spiritual and have a feeling of self-worth of being a spiritual being right? without even having a belief in God or being in any religion.